Okay. Take two, guys. <laughs> I had to delete my other video. Some stuff got screwed up. So, uh, what's brapping in YouTube? Got another video coming at you from the RC Dungeon. Uh, I got some stuff I want to cover with you guys in this video. You can see I've got the top off the Red Cat XR, uh, Rally XR. Uh, I've been setting some stuff up on it tonight. Just messing around with it a little bit, getting, getting my radio set up. Um, I got a, some things I want to go over with you guys here real quick. Um, uh, anyhow, so let's get down into it. Uh, first off, uh, I want to go over some stuff that I got the other day. Uh, I, got, I got another DDM order. I'm just going to run through that stuff real quick. Then we're going to talk about the XR a little bit. And then I'm going to talk about my uh, Roven uh, LT truck. The new look we got going on for that. Um, but yeah, let's talk about, let's talk, I want to talk about the stuff, my, I got a new, like I said, I got an order of stuff from, uh, from DDM the other day. Start off with, I got, uh, I got some seal all, uh, engine sealant in case I've got to tear my, uh, my old Roving, uh, 32cc down for a rebuild and just for sealing up my carbs and stuff, which I shouldn't have to use anyways. Um, I bought this hollow point, uh, RC. Uh, stud kit. This is the 30 millimeter from DDM, part number FD280. Uh, it comes with some gaskets, and I just bought this to have. If you guys look on RC Ohio, shout out for RC Ohio. His channel, he has a video on how to make these. Uh, these are really cheap. I just picked them up. Uh, I'm considering maybe first time use is going to be on the XR for this, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Like I said, these are on sale pretty cheap. Uh, from DDM, so I just went ahead and picked up a set of them to have. Uh, another thing I picked up pretty cheap was a uh, the Sullivan fuel filters. Uh, I only got one to try out. I got a buddy running these. He's running these on his, uh, he's got a 71 Supreme uh, RC Max on a ball haul, and he likes these filters, so I picked one up. If I like it, I'm going to pick up one to run on all my fifth scales just to have an extra filtration on them. Uh, Cause that, you know, filters never hurt anything. Uh, and then I've got another full force, uh, Tygon fuel, high flow fuel line kit, second gen. Uh, I went ahead and picked up another one, uh, probably going to be running on, uh, my Roven ball haul, the beast bug with the 45 CC engine in it. Uh, cause I never did upgrade to them, uh, that fuel setup on it. Uh, I went ahead and got my stock Roven LT320 set up with the one kit that I ordered here, uh, ready to go with a new fuel clunk down in here. Uh, so it's all set up and ready to rock and roll uh, on, the, on the old fuel tank. Uh, I went ahead and installed the new fuel tank, the Roven fuel tank, uh, with the new fuel lines for stock Roven stuff in it for right now, uh, just because... Uh, I wanted a new fuel clunk and some, you know, fuel line and stuff running that new engine. Um, but anyhow, let's get into, let's get into the XR. Okay. We'll talk about it for just a little bit. Um, you guys, I, I've got my fly sky set up here. Um, these, these red cats are kind of the ch what to charge them. Uh, if you keep them, if you don't modify your receiver box here, uh, I'll show you real quick. Um, if you don't modify your, your receiver box, uh, you have to take this this the top off your receiver box and get in here to charge your and to charge your receiver pack. I don't like that. Uh, I modified how I modified all of my uh, red cats in the past. Uh, I went ahead and modified this one so that way I can just come out here. I don't gotta you know take four stupid screws out of the battery box, uh, receiver box, battery box, whatever, to get to, to charge my, my receiver, my pack. So I just, I, I modified it here. I'll take the camera down here real quick. Here we go. Sorry, I got to move it around. Um, I just came in here and uh, dremeled this out a little bit, kind of made like a cove. It still actually seals up pretty good, but it won't pinch my wiring. Uh, but it won't let much water in. This is the same way I've done all mine. Let's see if I can zoom in on it here, guys. Um, just kind of dremeled it out here. 
pull my wiring through so and then I can kind of just push this down in here it's out of the way all I gotta do is unplug these plug my charging port in and charge that way I can charge my receiver pack in here um, I'm waiting on my kill switch I ordered a new dynamite kill switch for this um, so anyhow yeah once that gets here this thing's gonna be ready to break in I've still got to oil my fil air filter element but other than that this thing we're gonna break it in stock form uh, stock pipe, run it all stock, see how it runs, and then let me go ahead and put the camera up here because uh, I already pretty much know this thing's going to be a dog, okay? Uh, hybrid, I was trying to think of his name before on another video, Hybrid, uh, on YouTube, he's, he's the one that got me very interested in the XR, uh, his videos, he's still running his in stock form for what I've seen, the stock pipe, and I mean, they perform okay, guys, and they're not real loud. They're kind of quiet, so they're neighborhood friendly. Um, but this pipe, and anything, any anybody at those two strokes, the pipe is the is 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 one of the best setups you can do to a two stroke to open it up and get it breathing. Okay, or well, get it, you get it eaten, then you get it crack, then you get it shitting. I'm sorry, pardon my French, but uh, anyhow, that's. You know that 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 the pipe is one of the crucial things set up on a two-stroke engine. So, um, you know, I already know this thing is going to be kind of a dog with this pipe setup that we have here. Okay, the fake exhaust tips here. Um, but since I already knew that was going to be kind of a dog with the exhaust, I've kind of already addressed that situation. Let me put the camera back up here. Okay. Um, with that being said. Uh, I got this to address the situation, and it's from who the company that I run exhaust from a lot. It's a Jet Pro, okay. Uh, it's the Jet Pro dual exit pipe um, for the XR, the chromed one. Uh, you know, it needs cleaned up. I've been, you know, I got fingerprints and crap all over. It needs polished up real good before we, you know, we'll do that after it's installed. Uh, I'm sure it'll probably perform better than that stock can. Uh, I, this was kind of expensive and I wasn't going to blow the money out on it. I was going to try to modify a side exit of some kind off a ball hall or something, uh, to fit this XR, but I figured I'd go ahead. I, I really like, it's got the dual exit, uh, dual exhaust exit on it. Um, let me lay it down here and you guys can kind of see, um, you know, it'll exit, you'll take off these plastic fakies okay and this will mount down here on your uh right here and it'll exit out your body uh so i think that's pretty cool um i'm sure it'll be loud pretty much all my jet pro pipes have been loud um but anyhow i'm sure this pipe's going to allow this uh you know this engine to breathe a lot better and it'll perform better plus it'll function you know it'll look it'll look more scale you know because you got your you got your dual exits here um, so anyhow, we got that, we got that going on. Uh, I just, I want to run it for you guys in stock form before I change anything. Uh, and another reason why I went with the Jet Pro pipe is because I've already been talking with, which from, uh, shout out, another shout out to RC Ohio. Um, he's making your, let me dig it out here. Um, I can find it. Anyhow, your head pipe. Okay, your head pipe here. He's making, he can make these fit the Roven 45 cc's. Okay, you can get on his website and uh, and order those head pipes for the proper, you know, port flow match for your exhaust port exit for your Roven 45 cc's for pretty much all of his pipes. So, with that being said, if I ended up going with a 45 on here, which I very well may, um, I mean, I'm not 100% for sure, I can always get that matching head pipe for that Jet Pro pipe to run the 45cc, and I've already made a decision. Uh, the MTXL, if I can come up with the funding, it's going to get a Roven 45cc. I just, if I can get the money together, it will be a Broven Reed case 45cc. Um I'm in the process of been ordering parts because uh, I ran into some problems with my MTXL doing some maintenance the other day. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll do that with you guys now. Uh, let me take the camera down here if I can without messing it up. I'm having some trouble with the stupid phone camera. Um, 
Let me get it zoomed in here. My Bartolone clutch carrier here. Um, I noticed I was hanging up. My diff wouldn't spin free. Okay. I had a bearing that got kind of sticky on me inside that Bartolone clutch carrier. So I had to pull all my pull it all apart here. Um, and I serviced the bearings. No, the bearings didn't rust and go bad or whatever. They just, they were gummed up and nasty. Uh, so I had to take them out, clean them, re-lube them, soak them, silicone oiled. Uh, they're all lubed up now. Everything you can see is moving. You know, it's all freed up. Everything's good to go. Um, but in the process of doing that, and I don't know if I can get down in here. Maybe I can. You can kind of see where it's split. Here, there you go. You can see with my fingers that there's a split right here. I wasn't paying any attention, and I was maybe cranking them down kind of tight, but this top part right here to the diff cover to this MTXL, the screw mount here is they split here, and it split on this other side. Okay, you can see where the plastic was stretched. You can barely see it. You can see it better here. It's, it is split. So I'm ordering, as soon as I can get the money, I have it. Hopefully they don't sell out. I'm ordering the center diff aluminum GTB mount uh, because my buddy Gorley Stokes there, uh, he told me that, you know, you don't have to shim. Shouldn't have to shim the GTB mount. So I am going with the GTB mount for this. I'm going to be ordering the aluminum front and the aluminum rear diff stuff. And then I'm probably going to be upgrading all, of course, you know, the diff cups, all, to, all three of them to aluminum of some kind. Uh, probably the LOC DBX LE aluminum diff diff cups, or not cups, but the diff internal diff part. I have some hot racing ones here uh, that are brand new that I bought that I've just been sitting on. Here's one of them, uh, those. But I, I, I heard people saying they don't like the hot racing ones. I don't know. I've personally not had bad experience with hot racing products. Um, but these are probably going to end up going in my uh, Roven LT truck. So, with that being said, um, I'll probably, you know, I just, I want to get this MTXL uh, set up how I want it and uh, with a bigger engine on it and everything. Not that I think the 29cc is anything to laugh at because it does run pretty good and it throws the truck around. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go up into like probably a 19 tooth and run a 45cc Roven. You know, I'm funding, if, if the money, if money's there to do. So, because like I said, I'll be doing, we'll be upgrading this too. This is definitely going to get probably a Roven 36cc or maybe a 30.5cc. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm staying budget with this stuff, guys. That's why it's getting a Roven engine. Plus, my Roven stuff's been perfectly fine, to be honest with you. I've not had that much trouble with my Roven stuff. So, But we're going to we're gonna rock that 30 for a while, at least most of the summer, hopefully. You know, there'll be plenty of videos. You guys, excuse me. Oh, you know, there have been plenty of videos of this truck. You'll be sick of, of this car. You'll be sick of seeing it probably. Um, now down here with my Roven LT uh, 320. Take the camera back down here for you guys. Uh, let me back it up a little bit. Uh, this is my Mad Max flat black paint scheme I did on my cut up body panels that were broken up that I fixed up a little bit. Um, this is how I'm going to be rocking this thing out for a while. Uh, you guys can see here, um, I did this because I had to cut the cage to clear this crazy stew's intake right here. So, uh, that's why I ended up running this and not the general Lee body right now. Cause I just didn't want to cut the cage on the general Lee body truck. Uh, this way I can run the crazy stew's intake. I've got my other body. If I want to switch to a different intake, um, this thing seems to be running extremely a lot better than what it was. But this is how I'm going to be rocking it out here right now, guys. Uh, representing my clots oil that I'm running. Uh, I'm going to be cutting probably my fuel mixture down on this to 28 to 1. Since she's good and broke in now. Uh, that's as lean as I'm going to be going on my oil mix. 